Hi everyone, this is Jack, RoadsterCycle.com. Hey, I wanted to show you a little something that I uh, made for my Precision Matthews uh, PM25. It's a little extra, you know, belt drive on top that uh, I screwed in like this. Give you a better shot there. I hope that's a better shot. That I put on top of my uh, other, uh, you know, drives here and brought it over here and put a put a you know a belt guard on top here and then hooked my rotary encoder to it okay and it's a pretty nice you know setup as far as that goes and uh, I'll turn it on for you so now you know now I have rotary encoding on that and as you can see on my screen here I got uh, the encoder, encoder going uh, like that. Okay, so that's a that's a really big plus for these machines. So you can do if you have Centroid, like I run uh, Acorn Centroid on my machine. You can actually, you know, do tapping. Okay. The big thing is you can't do rigid tapping. That would be the issue. So you have to have get one of these tap deals that have you know that are spring loaded you know j just in case because you know there's backlash in these and that type of stuff as you can hear listen and you know it, it's it's just the way it is so it's safer to do it this way so you don't break a tap or anything like that but now you can actually uh, tap and have a rotary encoder I got the Omron rotary encoder on here for it uh, and then if you if you want it's very simple sorry about the shaky camera there I was reaching for something it's very simple to take the belt off when you're not using it of course it's simple one and put the belt over here and just tighten it up and it's out of the way and you're not running the belt all the time or the rotary encoder when you're just doing milling working as far as that goes also, is what I did is I changed this pulley up here. I made it smaller. So now look look at the speed I get out of my. Uh, we're at about 880 there. Now I'm getting like you know over 3100 RPMs on my spindle, which is really nice for aluminum because I do a lot of bracket constantly. So anyway, that's that's about it for this video. I'll show you this again. It's a spring-loaded, you know, tap. So if you are off a little bit, you can uh, it won't break your tap or do anything like that. But I just thought I'd show you those uh, two little things. I thought I, I did this about a year ago, and I thought somebody would come up uh, with a way, you know, to do the encoder. And I just I looked on YouTube today, and, and nobody had done one except somebody put a a uh, something on here to go on top and you can't change your stuff while you're working so this way it's a one-to-one -one and it uh, should work fine okay I don't have any reason to tap or do anything like that so I've never done it I just designed it so I could do it but I just never I've just not done it so anyway that's the video thanks for watching have a great day bye